Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. This is part two of our Monster Forge build. Today, we're gonna to be going through how we casted the refractory in the top of this Monster Forge, and we're gonna be building the ribbon burners. Uh, we're gonna be also casting refractory on the ribbon burners, and we're gonna be making some jets for them also, and putting them all together and installing them into this Monster Forge. Now, Making a forge this size uh, takes a long time. And the reason for it is because we have this cement refractory that we have to wait for it to cure. So every piece that we do, we have to wait for it to cure, pour it, wait again for it to cure. And this could take several days. This top piece here actually took about uh, three days to pour and then our ribbon burners took another few more days and then we had to uh, preheat them and get them uh, up to temperature so we can cure them. So let's get into the build. We'll get into how we poured this in sections and then we're going to get into the details of our forced air ribbon burners that are going to power this giant monster forge. And if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing my monster t-shirt when we're building the Monster Forge. Let's get right into the build. So now that the refractory is curing in our forge, I'm going to work on the three ribbon burners that are going to be installed to run this uh, monster forge. Now I've shown how to make these ribbon burners a 
normally aspirated ribbon burner on a previous video. So these ones are very similar, the bottom and how I uh, mold the actual refractory with crayons is on that video. The only difference is, is that I have these, this two inch tube, it's stainless, and I pie shaped, pie cut some of these uh, cutouts so I can make this turn or this 90 degree angle. And this is where my forced air is gonna come in from. And I'm gonna place a jet right here. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn down that jet out of some 5 8 hex bar on my lathe. And it's gonna have a 1 16th diameter hole. And that's what my propane is gonna feed this ribbon burner through. So let's go to the lathe and let's, turning, let's turn up the jet for this forced air ribbon burner. So I have my hex bar all cut up. I may, I'm gonna make four pieces and this is a half inch hex bar. Now you don't necessarily need hex bar. It's a little bit easier to work with on the lathe and it's something I have available. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna turn down this end about an inch long and I'm gonna turn the diameter that's about 400 thousandths of an inch. So now that I have the front turned, the back, I'm gonna to wanna to make a barb so I can put the hose on for the propane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down about a length of three quarters of an inch at a diameter of 350 thou. So now I have both sides done and I just ran about four parts. So this part here, the thicker part, is gonna be where my uh, jet is gonna be drilled. So it's gonna be a 1 16th. So I'm using this center drill and I'm gonna center drill both holes, one here and one here. And then I'm gonna drill for 1 16th and I'm gonna probably go in, say a quarter inch, something like that, deep. And then on this side, I'm actually gonna drill for uh, 3 16 all the way until it meets that 1 16 hole on this side. And then I can machine my barbs and it's ready for welding in the ribbon burner. So now the side that I had drilled with the 3 16 drill, I'm going to cut a barb on it. And all I'm doing is I'm using a flat tool. Here it is, a high speed steel tool. And I put it on about a 30 degree angle and I'm going to cut the front and then I'm going to cut into each one of these barbs. That's the complete propane injector. So if we recap what's done to this, it's a half inch hex bar, or you can use half inch round bar if you wanted to. I turned down a diameter for the barb of 350 thou. Then I drilled a hole that's 3 16 in diameter, almost to the end. So leaving about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths away from the, from the bottom. And then I drilled a one sixteen hole that connected to that three sixteenths hole. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a hole into the ribbon burner, the 90 degree pie cut piece. And I'm gonna place that right inside and I'll weld that or TIG weld it all the way around to make sure it's sealed off. So now we made this jet. It's gonna go somewhere in the middle of the tube here. And I need to make a hole there. So I'm gonna take my die grinder and I'm gonna cut a hole so this 400 thou diameter fits inside there nicely and then I can weld it around. So it's gonna be somewhere around this area that I'm gonna cut into that stainless steel tube. opened up the hole for the jet and you can see it fits nicely inside there. I just opened it enough so I can, it's going to go in and, and be 90 degrees to the bottom of the uh, ribbon burner and now I can weld it around. So I'm going to do all the other ones and then I can start TIG welding this jet in place. <laughs> Now it's been a few days of casting these ribbon burners so I'm just going to show you how I take them out um, I went through it on my previous bit video but basically just got to heat it up a little bit with a torch and what that does is uh, it starts to melt a little bit of the wax that's holding it in there and then this comes out just like that. So now I'm gonna heat them up a bit more just to get this uh, wax and the wax crayons out of the refractory. For our second video, we managed to finish our refractory on top, and the ribbon murders. Next week, we'll start on plumbing these ribbon burners and doing the top and working on the doors of this monster forge. Thanks again for watching Bonifab Custom. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you later on next week.